Uh, you guys earned your keep today. Sorry about that abuse right there, but it was well worth it. Hey guys, welcome to the Gray State and this episode of the Rounds Up. We've got a good one for you today. So I was at a big box store that starts with the letter W picking up some more of that 9 millimeter, 124 grain uh, NATO Winchester stuff that I've been testing the snot out of um, as, and just picking it up as a practice round. And while I was there, lo and behold, there's a new offering from Winchester. This time it's in 556. Five, it's a 200 round value box of full metal jackets that are 55 grain. And that's about all it says on the box. There's absolutely no other specifications or standards. It's not NATO. It doesn't give a published velocity anywhere. It basically gives us no info. So what a great opportunity to take a round and just test it. So that's what we're gonna do today. For any of you guys that just kind of stumbled upon this video or you haven't seen a rounds up or anything from my channel, let me just talk about it really quickly. So the rounds up is basically a little series that I created where I take off the shelf factory ammunition and test it against the uh, the designed use of the round. So basically, if it's a target round, I'm gonna test it in a target environment. If it's a personal defense round, I'm gonna test it through ballistic gel, et cetera, and how it tests. Um, and it's usually a standardized set of tests that I use, and today's gonna be no different. Okay, so with all that being said, I'm talking a lot here for this setup, I know. So we're gonna do three tests today. We're gonna chrono it because there's absolutely nothing to compare it against on the box. We're gonna see how it does. So, you know, we expect it to be around the 3,000 feet per second mark if we we're gonna compare it to an M193 that actually has a NATO stamp. So we'll see how it goes there. Um, and then we're gonna see how it groups. I don't have a lot of high expectations. It's a target round with absolutely no standards associated with it. So I'll take it out to hundred yards and I'll do a 10 shot group. And then I brought two rifles out today and I figure a great test for this one since we know absolutely nothing about this round and it's probably gonna be the question that everybody has is, is it reliable? Is this a round that I can actually stockpile and use for STHS situations? Or is this the kind of round that I'm just gonna give to my brother-in-law who likes to go shooting but he's not an enthusiast and he doesn't really care if he has the occasional you know um, malfunction so so that's going to be the third test it's going to be all about reliability i've brought two rifles out today um, i'm going to be using my ddm4 v11 for the majority of the work today um, but when we get to the reliability test i'm going to split the work between two rifles i want to test it in both a di config which is going to be the v11 and then i also want to test it in a short stroke gas piston configuration in 556 so i'm going to be bringing out my sig sauer mcx virtus patrol and we're going to put 180 rounds down the pipe, three mags each, loaded up at 30, and I'm going to go for burst. And then basically, we're going to see how these things fly when the rifles get hot. So that's basically it for today. But before we get started, since we know absolutely nothing about this round, and I haven't even opened the box yet, let's take a quick look and see what this round actually looks like um, before we load it up and start sending them. Okay, let's get going. Okay guys, before we load these things up and start sending them, I do want to take a quick look because we know absolutely nothing about this round. So let me open a quick box here real quick and we'll take a look at them. All right, so like I mentioned in the intro, this is a loose pack of 200. So um, let's see if we can take a quick look here. So uh, the rounds have been annealed. Um, like I said, they're a bulk packaging. And as you guys can see here, it's 200 rounds loose. Um, and I'm looking here and I do not see a NATO stamp. I'm actually going to stop the camera. Let me see, get it in the light here. Okay. And so looking at the round here, there is no NATO stamping on the back. So these are clearly not, even though they're a 5.56 round, they really are just appear to be a target round for 5.56. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how these things actually perform. So um, okay, so again, just to recap, in case you guys cut to this, the, the method of testing today is we're going to do 10 rounds chronoed, 10 rounds grouped at 100 yards, and then we're basically going to dump the rest of the box across six mags and two rifles. So that's basically the game plan. I'm going to stop the camera now and uh, load up some mags and we'll get started with the first test. Okay. Okay guys, here we go. This is going to be test number one. This is going to be 10 rounds. That's going to be chronoed um, with this Winchester 556 uh, 55 grand full metal jacket. Of course, this is going to be a great test because there is no published data on the box of what we expect this round to do. So this really is going to be like quite literally just testing this round to see what the performance of it is. Um, again, the gun I'm going to be using today is the one that I use for the majority of my testing for uh, 556223 rounds. It's going to be a Daniel Defense DD4 V11 uh, 16 inch barrel cold hammer forged yada yada. Same one that I always use. Okay, guys, here we go. Ten rounds. Chronoed. There we 
3092, not too shabby. 3082. 3072. 3076. This is kind of insane. 3088. 3038, that's the lowest so far, by far. 3075. 3068. 3056. All right, there's my 10, 3034. Okay, guys, uh, that's the 10 rounds right off the bat. I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed so far, so. Um, um, the recap for the 10 rounds on this Winchester white box stuff is the average was 3,070 feet per second. Uh, highest was 3,092. And as you guys saw, and I called out during the video, is that 3,034 was the lowest. That gives us an extreme spread of 58, a standard deviation of only 21.1, um, and I guess 10 shots. So, uh, okay. It, it works. And I guess the only thing I'll continue to say too is that um, I'm going to note any failures to feed or failures to eject or light primer, anything like that, I'm going to be calling out as we do everything. So um, those 10 rounds were perfect. Um, let me transition now. I'm going to go set a target up at 100 yards and set a GoPro up down there. And then I guess we'll just work on the accuracy and precision part of the testing. All right, give me a second to get that set up and I'll be back. Okay guys, I just set a target down at 100 yards and we're just going to test and see how this thing groups. Um, I'm not particularly excited for this round as usual, so I'm just going to shoot for group. I'm going to do a consistent hold and see how it, how it shakes out. So, Alright, here we go, 10 rounds. Looks like the GoPro didn't get hit, so that's a good sign. All right, there was the 10 rounds. Uh, I'm going to stop this camera. I'm going to turn on my iPhone. We'll walk down there and see what it did. All right, let's go. All right, guys, I'm walking down 100 yards. I'm going to speed up the video here so you don't have to watch me walk 100 yards down this trail. So um, once I get down there, um, I'll slow it back up, and uh, we'll take a look at what this round did. Okay, guys, I'm down here. Let's see what we got here. Ah, actually not too shabby. I mean, what's in three? I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's all ten rounds. Um, it's one, two, three, four. I mean, about five and a half inches there. So you guys saw I wasn't going actually super fast. I wasn't going super slow. I was just kind of taking crack shots like I was plinking. So uh, yeah, definitely it would. They would all be a box. I mean, we're within three inches left to right on the windage. So you know, all things considered. Uh, you know, not too shabby. This round's actually shaking out pretty good so far. Okay, that completes the, uh, I guess if you want to call it the accuracy and precision, but now we're just going to move on and uh, I'm going to go load some mags and uh, I'll start the cameras back up and we're going to break out two rifles and we're going to go through 180 rounds. All right, give me a second. Test three, which is going to be the fun part. We are going to do, uh, as you guys can see, I got six mags loaded up, 30 rounds. Two rifles. I might alternate between the rifles depending on how, um, if I sense the barrels are heating up too much. But um, I'm going to run these in little bursts, and I'm going to go through 180 rounds. Um, I'll probably speed up and probably only stop for the failures to eject and failures to feed if I have any. Um, not anticipating any. This has been working pretty good so far. But now we're going to start shooting a little quicker, and we'll see what happens. 
Um, one other little thing to note is that the box actually had 201 rounds in it, which was kind of a nice surprise. So kind of like Federal does it sometimes with their American Eagle stuff, there was an extra round in there. And, uh, you know, another observation too that I had um, on the cases themselves is that there were no, um, you know, disformations or anything like that. All the cases looked spot on, like really good quality control. So, all right, with that being said, let's go 180, let's rock it. Okay, that's one mag down. 30 rounds, no problem. I'm gonna switch rifles, let this one cool down a little bit. All right, 30 rounds, bolt locked open, no issues. Here we go. Clear, there's another 30. We're getting a little hot here, so let me uh, let these guys cool down for just a minute. I'm gonna thirty rounds. Still going, heating up a little bit. Okay, no failures to feed, no failures to eject, nothing. It's been working perfectly so far. Here we go, last 30 out of the SIG. Slow it up a little bit here. Thirty rounds, perfect. All right, that's it for the Sig. Ninety rounds, no issues, no failures to feed, no failures to eject. Perfect operation. Let's see if we can go uh, go the distance with this box. All right, here we go. Okay, let's finish strong. All right, there we go. 180 rounds down the pipe, not a single issue. This round is actually pretty freaking solid for the price and what you're getting. All right, let me uh, break everything down here and I'll give some final thoughts here on this uh, Winchester 556 value pack round. Okay. Bugs are out here, man. God. Okay, guys. So um, that pretty much wraps up this episode of the rounds up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, my thoughts on this thing, real quick. So, of course, I got an empty box now. We went through um, 200 rounds of this Winchester 556, not NATO, just white box value 
packaged ammunition um, that you can pick up for $58 a box. It comes out to about 29 cents a round. So, you know, my thoughts on this thing, you know, again, it's just me. I put it through two of my guns. You guys' mileage may vary, you know, all the standard disclaimers and stuff like that. But um, for I'm a guy who doesn't get paid to do any of this, who just does it for the fun of it, um, you know, I can honestly tell you straight up that this round absolutely performed today. It it exceeded, I mean, it was up over 3,000 feet per second on average um, when we chronoed those 10 rounds. And then it actually grouped pretty well. I mean, they would have been, all been A box hits at 100 yards. So it's marketed as a target ammo for planking and just, you know, regular old MSR sporting fun. And it would definitely deliver in that situation. Um, and then reliability and function. I mean, I did not have a single failure and I went ripping through those rounds um, and kind of had to stop a couple of times to let barrels cool down a little bit. So that was 180 rounds over six mags, over two rifles absolutely not a single failure or issue so i guess yeah this round definitely gets the stamp of approval especially when you consider that it's 58 bucks for 200 rounds from a big box store that starts with w so if you guys find it feel free to grab it it's a great round um, i would have no problems using it handing it to anybody um, the quality was there and you know it's time will tell i don't have enough time with it but you know i guess if the uh, you know if the sthf you know, this round will work. I mean, it doesn't have that NATO stamp on it, but by all means, it's right up there with the American Eagle and the Federal, you know, all the uh, M193 stuff out there and all the clones. You know, this, this stuff is right there with it, even though that it doesn't have that stamp. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, feel free to, to leave them down below. Also, any questions that you might have, um, I really do read them and I take your guys' feedback and I, you know, I just do this for fun, like I said. So anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy this and until next time, Stay safe.